Let's talk about troubleshooting and the specific measures you can take when something goes wrong with your flow. First, let's discuss what might cause a problem with a flow. Application API authentication, loss of connectivity, and user-specific errors are among some of the most common causes. Let's take a look at each to figure out the best ways to solve these problems. Issues surrounding authentication with your connected applications API can occur because APIs don't always share the same authentication method. In some cases, a connected app will issue API authentication tokens that can expire. Alternatively, at some point it may become necessary to reissue API keys and a new authorization will be required as a result. An account password change could result in this type of issue as well. When authorization issues arise, you can often reauthorize your accounts through your connectors in the Workflows console. If you're unable to do this, removing a problematic connector and creating a new one may be required. It's also possible that an API schema has changed. While this is unlikely to happen with any managed connectors created by Okta, it's certainly possible in cases where you're not using a predefined event or action. First, look for errors in your flows. Incorrect field types between cards and simple logic errors may not always present themselves when testing, but it's possible that your flow wasn't set up to handle every type of data it may receive when triggered. Make sure all the field types match up between the cards in your flow and that logic errors haven't occurred. You can always replay the issue in your flow history to quickly discover the location of the problem. Second, similar issues can occur even if the composition of your flow is flawless, because the data your flow receives can be subject to structural changes you won't always know about. For example, if your flow received its data from a spreadsheet and someone changed a column header in that spreadsheet without your knowledge, it could cause your flow to break because it can no longer find the column header that you specified when you created it. Also, changes in the type of data can result in a similar error. If you can't be sure changes weren't made, it's always a good idea to check. If none of these strategies help you resolve your problem, you might be experiencing connectivity issues with your connected platform. Although your card's replay feature can automatically resolve connectivity issues when your connected application is unresponsive for a short while, longer service outages and planned maintenance will result in connectivity issues and can cause your flow to fail until they're resolved. In most cases, good troubleshooting skills will help you resolve issues as quickly as possible, but sometimes you'll run into problems you can't correct on your own. When that happens, you should contact support for assistance. If you do, make sure to include the following information. The entire error message displayed on the card. The entire execution history URL, which will include the ID of your flow, your organization, and your execution history, and any relevant screenshots of the flow in question. Also, if the error isn't on a specific card or in a specific execution history, then you should provide your organization ID, a detailed description of the observed problem the result you expected, and any specific steps or other information that can help replicate your issue. This will help the support team discover the cause of your issue and come up with a solution more quickly.